Hi grade 1! Our science lesson for this week is about forces and energy. And throughout this lesson, we are going to see how do objects move and how can we change the way objects move and we are going to learn about the sound. First of all, let's discover together how do objects move. By definition, motion is movement. So when something is in motion, it means it is moving. And speed is the measure of how fast something moves. For example, planes fly fast. On another hand, a turtle walks slowly. So fast and slowly describe the speed. If we look at the first picture on the left, we can see a roller coaster car climbs up the hill slowly. But in the second picture on the right, we can see that the further it goes down the hill, the faster it goes. Now, we are going to learn the ways of moving. We have to know that objects can move in many ways. Now, let's look closely together at these pictures and discover the different ways of moving. An object can move in straight line, as we can see in the first picture on the left and an object can move in a zigzag. Objects can move back and forth, as we can see in the third picture, and finally, objects can move round and round. So these are the different ways of moving. Now, let's learn how can we change the way objects move. A push moves an object away from you, but a pull moves an object closer to you. We have to know that pushes and pulls are forces. What is a force? By definition, a force makes an object move or stop moving. Let's look at this picture together. We can see that Carl is pushing the box. So Carl is moving the box away from him. But Mark is pulling the box, so Mark is moving the box closer to him. We are going to talk about using forces. A force can change the way an object moves. A force, for example, can change an object's speed. How? A force can make something start moving or stop moving, and a force can make something go faster or move slowly. Let's look at the first picture on the left. We can see that a person can kick a ball to make it start moving or to make it go faster. So when a person kicks a ball, what is going to happen to the ball? The ball will start moving or it will go faster. In the second picture on the right, we can see that the girl is catching the ball. So when she catches the ball, it will stop, so you can catch a ball to stop it, to stop the movement of the ball. Now, we are going to talk about positions. But before starting, we need to learn some position words. Some position words are in, out, up, down, left, and right. Position words tell where something is and a force can move something to a new position. So if we look at this picture, we can see that things are moving up and down and they are moving in and out. For example, we can put objects in the bucket and we can take objects out of the bucket. We are going to talk now about directions. Forces can move things toward you and away from you. A force can change the direction of an object. Let's think about pushing a friend on a swing. Your friend moves away from you and then comes back. If we look at this picture, we can see that the father is pushing his son on a swing. What is the son doing? The son is moving away from his father and then he is coming back toward him. Now, 
Let's learn what is sound. By definition, sound is kind of energy you hear. Sound is made when an object vibrates. What does to vibrate mean? To vibrate is to move quickly back and forth. Let's look at the first picture on the left. The strings on a guitar vibrate when you pluck them. In the picture on the right, we can see that the top of a drum vibrates when you hit it. Now, I want you to touch your throat and try to talk. What happens? Your throat vibrates. Finally, we will learn that a sound can be loud or soft. We have to know that some sounds are loud and other sounds are soft. By definition, loudness is how loud or soft a sound is. We have to know that a loud sound can make you cover your ears, but a soft sound can be hard to hear. Now an instrument can make a loud or a soft sound. Its loudness changes with how you play it. For example, a drum makes a louder sound if you hit harder. Pitch is how high or low a sound is. For example, if we look at the picture, we can see that we have high pitch and low pitch. So, some sounds are high, other sounds are low. And pitch is how high or low a sound is. That's it for this week, grade 1. Thank you for your attention.